Hey guys, Pete here with Jaya Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how to take point data and give it a course direction with an arrow. So with that, uh, we're just going to use some sample data from this marine cadaster.gov website. I'll put the link in the description. But basically, I'm just using this just so I know that you know boat's going to change courses and direction, and we want to show that in QGIS. So I already downloaded a sample data set, and let's go ahead and add that to our QGIS project. So I'm just going to go over to layer, add layer, and uh, comma delimited. And uh, from this particular data source, uh, that's how it's um, provided in a CSV file. So uh, this is the main file, and I just took a sample, uh, one of the ships here at random, and called it sample. So open that here. So here's kind of a preview. So um, you know, we have the time, lat long, course over ground. This is what we're going to be showing the, the, the directional from. So let's go ahead and add that and close out. And you can see all these points here. So it's up here in New York, here in the United States. It's going up the Hudson River. So, you know, look at the points you don't know if it's going north or south so we want to give it some direction so in order to th do that let's go ahead and click on to the layer itself we'll go ahead and right click go to properties we'll go over to symbology and let's change the uh, marker the simple marker over to an arrow and let's go and give this change this size to points and let's say 20 points and uh We'll change the color over to red just so it stands out pretty good. And we'll click, oh, before we click apply, actually, this is the whole point here uh, rotation right here. If we click onto this data define override button here, we go over to where our data is, uh, course over ground, that's COG. If we click onto that, that's going to determine the direction of the point. So here we go. You can see it's going north. And so this is pretty straight, clear cut. But if we wanted to filter out um, some of these courses, just to show you, I just right clicked on to that data set. And if we go over to source, query builder, and we could say course over ground, um, say it's less uh less than equal to 90 degrees let's see what happens with that say okay apply okay so there's obviously gaps in our data here because it's showing um any direction that's less than 90 degrees and of course we could double click onto this go to query builder and we clear that out say okay apply okay now we have the rest of our data set here. So hope you found that helpful. And if you like it, please uh, click subscribe and like and leave a comment if you'd like to see some other tutorials about this. Thanks for watching.